Good morning! So I wanted to do that thing which daily vloggers do where they like wake up and they say hello in the bed, but um... That didn't really work out. So I thought today I would take you with me because I'm having a kind of relatively interesting day. It's not very representative of my normal day, mostly because I'm actually going outside. a bit better isn't it? <laughs> First stop is to go to uni because I need to hand in my choices form for second and third year. So I have made the decision guys. Next year I have to study Chaucer in second year and I have to study Shakespeare in third year. But I have chosen Old English 1, Renaissance, Modern Literature 1 at for, for second year and then for third year I'm doing Modern Literature 2 and Literary Representation and History of Homosexuality and, and because that's a capped course I've had to put an alternative and my alternative is American Literature. So yeah, big decisions have been made. And whilst I'm at uni I also have to hand in all of the books that I got for my feminist video. Because yes, I did do research and I do know what I was talking about. Mm. So I am wrapped up like a bloody Eskimo if you hadn't noticed because it's like 8 degrees outside, it's nearly May and it snowed yesterday. It, I, I fucking saw it with my own eyes, it fucking snowed. What is this shit? Anyway, so time to venture outside. Hey, look at that. I've handed in my choices, so that's happened, and I've given in the books. Tried to hand in a UCL book to the Senate House Library because I'm an idiot. Now I am going to go and do some shopping because my uni is about 20 minutes walk from Oxford Street, which is like the most useful thing in the world. Yes, shopping! This weather is so frustrating because it's like really cold, but then it's super sunny. I'm so hot right now, but at the same time it's so cold. British weather, sort yourself out. Okay, I did it, I survived lush. Um, my hand is covered in stuff, my face is covered in glitter. My hands feel like all yucky because they were put in um, moisturiser and facial cleanser all over my hand. I have broken my lush virginity, which has also kind of slightly broken my bank. <laughs> That's fine. Now I am off to next to make use of vouchers, which will make me feel a bit better about the money. I've spotted a wild Stephen Bridges. I have made it home. I'll just do like a really quick run through of what I bought because I really didn't get much. From next, I bought these shoes. I had to get them from the children's section because if you didn't know, I have ridiculously small feet and I am size 2, which means I can never find shoes. So I found some and they will be nice for summer. And from last year I bought three things. But this, which is the Celestial Facial Moisturiser because my skin has been super dry. Facial cleanser because I haven't been able to use makeup wipes for months now because they always make my face really, really hurt. So I thought I would get myself some nice, sensitive, good facial cleanser. Also as a bit of a treat, I bought liquid eyeliner and it was ridiculously fucking expensive but it's a really pretty colour and I, I do support like the idea of Lush. I look forward to wearing this tonight. Okay so I've set up for today's Vida. Uh, it's slightly different position because my lamp broke so I'm like relying completely on the window so I've tried to face the window a bit more. Time is running a bit tight but hopefully I will get this all done and it'll be fine. Whew, I actually did that in about three minutes and I just really really hope that everything works because I've got to leave the house in maximum a half an hour. Okay, I did it. Um, it took some running around and stuffing grapes in my face. I'm now leaving, it's four o'clock. I've got to get to BFI South Bank and I've just realized I haven't actually told you what I'm doing tonight. It's because I am going to the film screening of a film I am in. Which sounds more impressive than it actually is because uh, I'm just an extra, so if I'm lucky I'll get to see the back of my head kind of thing. That was something I did back in September and uh, yeah, finally got the email about it and now I'm gonna get to see the film. Also, I've had to move to crappy camera because I thought at a film screening they probably wouldn't appreciate it if I walked in with a Canon 600D.
so these last three years have been like a real journey and it's, it's really lovely to see so many people uh, who've been involved uh, here today. It's come out, it was three films and uh, they were all kind of like supernaturally. Well, the first one wasn't quite, but it was kind of supernaturally. They were gloriously dark and beautifully shot. Yeah, the shot, oh my God, like, Kieran O'Brien would be proud, guys. It was just, it was, they were really, really good films, brilliant scripts. They were all very, like, they were all short films. They also had some big names in. Uh, the second one had Paul McGann, and the third one had Emily Grace Bevan, who, if you know me at all, I'm crazy about In the Flesh, and Emily Grace, Emily Grace Bevan isn't In the Flesh. And I actually met her when we, she was on the set, and that was, like, the best day ever. Anyway, so yeah, they were really good. And I don't know, they're probably not going to be going out to wide release because they're kind of like those artsy little films. They're probably just going to be going around festivals. But if I see anything, I will point you in their direction because they were really good. Hi, so I was going to like walk and talk, but it's really pretty. It's like sunset in London and everything is very beautiful. So I thought I would just stop and talk here since I have the time. So I just had a very lovely meal with Helen and Louis in your sushi. It was really yummy. And I knew Helen from the shoot because we kind of got clubbed together because we both had blue hair. We didn't get into any of the film, like we were cut out of all the shots because our hair was too noticeable. And that's why we ended up being friends. Like we have nothing in common, but we have blue hair. So we got talking and she's a lovely person. So now I'm not going home. I told you it was a busy day. I'm actually going to see Woman in Black, which is very cool because I've wanted to see this play for years. Um, I'm going by myself, and considering how scary I've heard it is, that's possibly not such a good idea. And I also am very wary of the fact I, I just booked a ticket that looked good. It was a good price, it was in a good place. It's on the front row, at the edge. And I've heard front row at the edge is where, like, stuff happens to you, so I'm really, I'm kind of a bit scared. But yeah, I'm at Bank, and I have to walk to Covent Garden, which I think is like 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna go to the theatre. <laughs> I have made it, I am home, looking a little bit worse for wear because I got rained on. Yeah, I meant to vlog at the theatre but it was raining and dark and yeah. The show was very good. It wasn't quite the overwhelming fear fest that I'd been led to believe that Woman in Black, the play version, was. I thought that the woman shouldn't be in the play but you know the whole thing is about these two men doing it and I get that there's the big reveal at the end that you know he didn't hire a woman, it's actually the ghost. I think she should have been left to the imagination as well. Like, the whole play is celebrating the audience's imagination. I don't know, her bits just seemed a bit gimmicky. But that said, the acting was very strong, um, and the script was good, and I loved the way that they staged it. Basically, I couldn't really fault it apart from the woman's presence, which I think is a shame, because she was meant to be the crux of the play. I also seemed to jump a lot less than other people. I am now going to go and eat pizza. I've eaten my pizza, I have got ready for bed, and so thus ends my day in the life. Um, I am surprisingly exhausted, which I think says less about the day itself and more about how the fact I really need to get out more. I hope that editor Izzy managed to put this clump of clips together in a reasonably entertaining way. Do let me know what you think of it. Dare the life. Night.